Hi everyone, I'm Mario from Engine Lab. In this video, I wanted to show you a data acquisition with strain gauges on a carbon fiber bicycle. The bicycle is the famous Dogma F10 designed by Pinarello. Pinarello, based in Treviso, Italy. Let's see in detail what we did. Eight linear strain gauges were installed at significant points for the evaluation of deformation of the frame during the execution of typical maneuvers such as pedaling, braking, passing over a bump, traveling on different road surfaces. The objective of the recordings is to provide the designer with road loads for the purpose of structural optimization of the frame. A National Instruments data recorder was used, connected wirelessly to a PC. Let us consider some strain gauges, in particular number 1, 2, 7 and 8. Strain gauges number 1 and 7 are sensitive to the pedaling action but above all by the braking action, because the force between the wheel and the road surface is acting like a bending moment to the strain gauges number seven and in this zone with strain gauges number one. Strain gauges number two is on the side part of the bicycle, so this is sensitive to the torsion or the twist action, lateral twist action, due to the pedaling action. Strain gauge number 8 is sensitive to the vertical action of the cyclist on the handlebar. Let's see in detail what happened. So, we can see here three action, three action on the handlebar just for the synchronization of the video and the recording. Okay. Now the cyclist is on the saddle and starts pedaling. Here, passing off the bump and the brake action. Acceleration phase, pedaling, bump and brake action. So let's see in detail the pedaling action. You can see in red, what is in red? In red is the strain gauges number two. While pedaling, the twist of the frame is clearly visible. Also is vid visible strain gauge number 8 because the cyclist is really acting strong on the handlebar. When we pass over the bump it's the handlebar mainly that is sensitive. In the brake action I, we have strain gauges number seven, this one, that is sensitive to the brake action, but also 
strain gauges number one, that is the black curve, dark blue curve. This is an example of data collection. And AngularLab can perform strain gauge data collection on vehicle, structures, and components in order to give to designers what they need for the optimization of their structures. Bye bye. See you on next video.